Here we go, EWE starts off. And wait a minute. What is this? Ruby coming out the number one contender for the EWE World Championship against Tyler. We'll see in a few episodes time. What's he got to say? Hi guys, it's Ruby. Now you know me as the god of our EWE and FWE. But the thing is, I don't want to fight for the World Championship. The World Championship is for good people. And I am a god. So it is really unfair if I go ahead and win the championship. There's no one else would be able to get it. So, Tyler, I am going to give you mercy. But, that doesn't mean I'm done yet. The Intercontinental Championship should be released tonight. And I want a shot to it. As I had the Intercontinental Championship in FWE, and I never lost it. So whoever wants to fight me right now for it, come out and say it. Ribby calling out anyone. And look who's here. It's Ashley. So I guess Ashley has accepted the challenge for the EWE Intercontinental Championship at the end of tonight. Ribby. More like really. You are no god. Your Intercontinental Championship uh, run at FWE was just a fluke. There's no way you're going to keep up with my skill, speed and agility. I'm going to absolutely destroy you. And then when I lift the Intercontinental Championship, I'll become the first ever champion. And it's going to stay like that for a long time. I'll see you in the main event. Ribby not having any of that, coming out, stomping on Ashley, look at this, Ribby taking it to town on Ashley, after the trash talking that Ashley did on him, and a backbreaker by Ribby, these two will face in the main event of this show for the Intercontinental Championship. And a headbutt. And Ribby walks off. And here we go. We're ready to have our first match of EWE after that Ribby and Ashley incident. And oh no. This is trouble. Here he comes. Wait a minute. He's got... What? Since when did he win the 24-7 championship back? Anyway, Supergroup will be facing off against Charlie, who's only uh, just came here in EWE anyway. Used to face an FWE. I believe he won... Yeah, no, he did. He won the Hardcore Championship at one point. And Super looking... Uh, to relieve some anger after the tag team match incident and now super forearms and now wait takes Charlie up oh throws him down super to the top Charlie going down well going up what is this oh big cross body just to let you know that super group did in fact um Lose the tag team match with Knight for the to be crowned the first ever tag team champions. Next match will be a um, match for the number one contender spot. Big knee to the face for the uh, tag championships. And then whenever they like. Uh, whoever the winner is, whenever they like, they can have a match for it, so. And you'll see them two tag teams after this match, I guess. 
Super group looking to hold the head or something. Looks for an uppercut. Wait a minute. Roll up. On Charlie. Kick out. One. Oh, looks for a chop block. You can see his head going down to the knee. Looks for something. Big punch. Just cleaning out anything that Charlie was trying to do. Takes his head. Snap me. Off the ropes. N looks for a next snap. Charlie fights out of it. Throws Super Groot onto the apron. Just looking down at Charlie. Oh! Big punch. And he's going to the top. Looking for that cross body again. Charlie having no effect on this match. Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 one that you need. What a horrible debut for Charlie. And I believe this one's over now. No! Charlie gets his shoulders up. I honestly thought this one was over. Didn't look like any coming back. Victory roll up stomp. Fans booing Supergroup. They want Charlie to win this match. Obviously, Supergroup being the hill man at the moment with a uh, knight, big clothesline. And now Super takes out the ref. I'm going outside the ring. Grabbing a ladder. Throws it in. The ref has gotten up, mind you. I don't know why he took out the ref. It is a no disqualification match. Just like every EWE match. Wait a minute. No, no, no. Oh, suplex onto the ladder. And you can see how the back just bent. On the ladder. And another suplex. Just like kind of tossing him around. Chop block. Oh my god. Brutal. Charlie's got barely any offense in. Suplex on the ladder again. Just really bringing it to town on Charlie and that ladder. You can see Charlie feeling this back. He, he needs some serious like surgery or something after this match because he's just being suplexed over and over again on the ladder. And that was the edge of it. Supergroup really taking advantage of this. No, not again. Oh, he's going to actually shatter Charlie's back in a minute. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, no. One that you need. Pretty much on the ladder. What? A kick out at one. Are you kidding me? Going to the ref. Trying to ask the ref, are you sure? Are you sure that wasn't at least a two? He doesn't believe that Charlie kicked out at one. After all them suplexes on the ladder. And then the one that you need. Pushes him away. Pele kick finishing move. Hooks the leg. No way. Kick out one. That is the finishing move. I don't know where that came from. Getting the ladder. What's he doing? Sitting up in the corner. Wait a minute. Throws Charlie into the ladder. Oh no. Charlie resting on the ladder. Supergroup taking a break after that Pele kick. Running. Oh, spear into the ladder. Oh my god. And they're trying to go for a strike. Wait, no. Turn back. Wait a minute. Victory roll up. Stomp. And Charlie being took into town again. Wait a minute. No, no, no. Off the ropes. German suplex. 
And did you see that kip up from Charlie? Uh oh, into the ladder. The ladder that Charlie got speared on. Wait a minute. Getting taken in a power bomb position. Power bomb through the ladder. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is just brutality. And then off the ropes again. Looks for a roll up again. No knee. And Charlie gets outside the ring. He's going to look for something. He's just looking for anything at this point to help him win this fight. Win this war. And his chair shot to the head. And he's going to set it up in the corner. Look at this. Uh oh. Wait a minute. Throws Charlie across the ring. Charlie throws him off the ropes. Bumps into him, uppercut. Wait a minute, no, super being dragged. What is this? Throws Charlie over the ropes. Gets him back in. Wait a minute, no way! Super sent on! Cover, that's his signature move. Kick out again. He's really not giving up. Oh, into the chair. Saying, get up. Super getting Charlie up. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Got the arm. One that you need. And did you see the force? Hooks the leg. One, two, three. Super group is the winner of this match. And I guess he should get running because if he is a 24-7 champion, then people will start coming to the ring like now. And this is what I mean because look, now Harvey's here. The former 24-7 champion. We don't actually know what happened. Bang from off the top. Wait a minute, he's, to he's kind of got the cover. Now he has. Definitely. Oh, kick out at two. Super ain't losing the 24-7 championship that easy. Wait a minute. Finishing move. Incoming. Natural selection. And a big strike. Wait a minute. A strike of Super Crew's own. Wait a minute. Another kick. Where's Knight and the Wolf? Oh, natural selection. Wait, there they are. Wait a minute, look, look. No, with a fire extinguisher. I can't speak. Spraying the wolf with it. And uh oh. Night. No, no. S2O. STO, S2O, it doesn't matter. Onto the concrete floor. Well, into the mat. And taking him out. Harvey and Super fighting for the 24-7 championship. In the ring right now. Natural selection. Wait a minute. Putting Super Group back up on the position. He's not done. Natural selection. No, no, no. Wait a minute. Super rolling out of it. But most importantly, let's look at this backstage segment right here. Just getting thrown into the wall. Uh-oh. Night. No, Knight, no, don't do this. Don't do this, Knight. No, 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 the ladder. The ladder, power bomb on the ladder. What the hell? And just looking, the wolf in his eyes. Wait, what the hell is Knight in his CCW attire? And he should at least wear the um, eye patch. Especially in um, EWE. And just throwing him against them equipment boxes, the wolf. Getting sneak attacked, I guess, by a knight. Picks him up. And throws him. Throwing him towards that limo. No, just dragging him across. Wait, is he dragging him to the tyre? Nah, even knight's not that fucked. 
to do something like that. And remember, after all this, we will have um, a tag team championship number one contenders match. And if Knight does so much damage, Skullcrusher might, or Harvey, might have to find a new uh, tag partner. Wait a minute. Turning on the forklift. The wolf is down. What is this? The wolf gets up. Ask him what's going on. Oh, big crossbody. Oh, my God. And Knight climbing. Climbing that truck. The WWE Network truck. I don't know why they're here, but they are. And Knight saying to the wolf, don't you dare come up here or it'll be the end. You can see that scaffolding is still up. Maybe he'll push uh, the wolf onto it. Oh, big strike. Wait, no, 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 no. Throws him off. Oh, my God. Wait, is, is the wolf levitating? I think he is knees. Now he definitely isn't. Saying it's over and running. Wait a minute, look in the ring. I can't believe Supercruit just kicked out of five natural selections. You saw that fight backstage out of Knight and um, the wolf and it's still going on. Same with this, like, I guess, beat down on Supergroup. Supergroup needs to seize his opportunity and run. Oh, nat no, natural selection, um, atomic drop. And a suplex, oh my god. Really, Harvey taking it to town. Taunts. Wait a minute. Suplex. And Harvey going to the top. Saying for Super to get up. And while he's up. Wait a minute, caught power bomb. Super group just trying to roll out the ring, but then he realized that Harvey's still there. Wait a minute, the elevated voice grip onto Super Group. Pretty much choking the life out of him. It can still the title can still change hands and what a submission. And trying to squeeze the eyes, trying to rake the eyes to get out. And a brain buster. Vicious. Getting Harv uh, Skull Crush or Harvey up. Wait a minute, kick. Feed him the midsection, injured it, maybe. Natural selection. Wait a minute, Knight again in his CCW attire coming out. He must have dealt with Hayden then. Did have kind of the upper hand throughout the whole brawl that we saw. Wait a minute, reverse of clothesline. This is what happened last time. But why is Knight always using his CCW attire? And that eye. I think he should still at least wear his eye patch. Especially like in CCW it doesn't really count because that's a completely different show but in EWE he should definitely wear the eye patch free and Skull Crusher gets the W on Supergroup and Knight can't believe it and again Skull Crusher is the 24-7 champion and he can't believe it taking a 24-7 championship and celebrating with the crowd who was behind him wait a minute oh for god's sake wait a minute knight enters the ring and now skull crusher after that brutal fight with um super group going one on one with the man that is knight the wolf, I don't think he's okay. He was just thrown into the surveillance truck. Wait a minute. Oh, super kick to the leg. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I really don't think that um, 
the wolf is okay we're gonna have to get updated um we're gonna have to get updates from the ambulance he's currently in from that beat down and again looking for a super kick on that leg no wait super kicks the head instead proves how much knight is pissed skull crusher off he can't even do his move right wait a minute no natural selection one and here comes two two and knight kneeling trying to get up and three natural selections knight just n trying to kneel just then just just try to get up try to fight back but unfortunately for him he couldn't and now Skullcrusher leaves the arena and Knight in the centre of the ring you can see on a separate camera there and I don't think anyone's going to try and sneak attack hello EW universe it is Adrian now I may have lost the finals but I qualified to the finals of that tournament and Tyler's just lucky that we had an insane match and that I didn't come out on top I would have absolutely destroyed him if I actually tried but I didn't know what he was made out of so I couldn't really try my fullest anyway I am entering this uh, tag team competition to become number one contender and well you may be asking wait who's your tag team partner it can't be anyone who you found who really wants to do it because you're not really friends with anyone, you're more of a lone wolf. Well, that's where you're wrong. That's right. Crash Ups has returned and it's better than ever. And we are ready to destroy whoever we're facing. And after that promo, here they come. Who is that in the background? Is that the Springer? What the hell? What is he doing here? Anyway, Adrian PJ Styles, the Crash Ups. And they will be facing off against. Who is this? Who is this? Oh, Thunderbolt! What is he holding? Ah! He's holding the EWE World title! Saying that it should have been him! If you don't know, he faced Tyler and he lost! And Thunderbolt has been distraught about this ever since. And his tag team partner will be the giant, well, the tank. I keep on calling him the giant for some reason, with that baton. And this match is ready to begin. So, the tank and Thunderbolt, I guess, were made friends uh, when, uh, well, I think, I forget, I forget when it was. But I guess they was friends. Well, my friends like backstage. But it was in a match. I believe the tank was watching Thunderbolt's match against someone, not Tyler. I believe it was against like Knight or something. But I guess that's what made them form the tag team. Thunderbolt being the wrestling genius, knowing all the tricks in the book. Well, the tank, well just living up to his name being a tank first match beating knight wait a minute what is this there's the tag and wait a minute throws thunderbolt over the head and wait a minute a knee to finish it off thunderbolt not in such a great position you can see the springer outside as well oh did you see that I'm surprised if that isn't a free right there. 
And it was just a one count. Wait a minute. To the second rope. Right, punched him. PJ Styles goes down. Wait a minute. Look at these strikes. And then putting him in a tree of woe. Uh oh, this doesn't look good. And Springer just clapping on the outside. Saying I taught him that. That uh, little combo. Secret. On Thunderbolt. I think he was looking to tag in the tank there. Which would have been bad news for PJ Styles. Wait a minute. Avalanche. Arm oh, rag. Saying get up. Uh oh. Bad days is coming for PJ Styles as he just gets shoved out of the way. The only way I think there is a possible way to beat the tank is that if you take out the legs and look at this. This is what cut Knight open in the first few seconds of his debut match. Where he just tossed around Knight, just throwing him around. I don't think there's anything stopping this man unless you take out the legs. And look at these strikes straight to the back of the head over and over again. Bang, bang, and bang. And now just stomping him out in the corner. Otto takes it. Throws uh, PJ Styles up. Looking to go for the head. Punch to the waist. I thought that was a low blow then. Oh, oh my god, did you see that one punch to the back and PJ Styles is straight back down to the ground and no, he can't be hit by this. He can't be hit by this. Elbow drop, oh my god. Imagine a man of his size just dropping his elbow onto your back. That's got to break your back. And now just trying to loosen up like around the shoulder area. And I think it's working. Thunderbolt watching and smiling at this. And what is this? Moonsault! What the hell? How fast was that? And somehow kicks out at one. I can't believe that. That was such a beautiful moonsault. And now just striking down at Adrian. I can't believe. I, I, I just fail to believe that... Um, PJ Styles kicked out of that. No, no, no. The tank pile driver or the tank cannon. I believe that's called the tank cannon. Oh, slams Adrian onto PJ Styles. Wait a minute. Adrian trying to fight back, throwing the tank outside the ring. Getting back inside. He's not going to take that. Oh, just launches Adrian off the ropes. Hooks the leg. This one is history. Three, the tank and Thunderbolt will be facing Skull Crusher and um, the Wolf for the tag team championships whenever they like. So I guess the tank will, I guess, say the decision. Wait a minute. Hi, I am the tank. I am the most dominant force in EWE ever existing. I want our tag team match to be next episode in the main goddamn event. And it will be obviously for the tag championships. And it will be a great steel cage matchup so no one can run from the tank and here we go main event time Ashley will be taking on Ribby for uh, the place to become the first ever EWE Intercontinental Champion now Ribby being one of the best longest timing uh, FWE Intercontinental Champions that's a discussion to be talked with because we also had Frank's Intercontinental Championship run, run and there's Ribby and we're about to get the first reveal of 
the Intercontinental Championship live on your screen right now. Look how beautiful that looks. Such a beautiful belt. The EWE Intercontinental Championship. The referee lifting it. The fans go wild for it. And this match. The Hell in the Cell is being lowered down. And this match is on the way. Ruby running straight for a close on on Ashley. Ashley disrespecting Ribby by, call, uh, by saying that he's not a god. Just calling him loads of other stuff. And strikes to the midsection. Ashley meant what he said and everyone knows it. And he's ready to prove himself here tonight. To, by becoming the first ever Intercontinental Champion. But the question is, will he actually do it? Against Ribby, God, what a move. And Ribby feeling his face. He knows how much that move actually just did on him. And, like, I think that was like a spear. Anyway, yeah, no, Ribby isn't going for the World Championship. Oh, oh my God, actually shooting at Ribby. And a big kick. Throws Ruby outside the ring. Big strikes. Strike to the back. Ruby's trying to come back over the stairs. And solid still stairs. Over the stairs again. But Ruby trying to just uh, keep his place. Not going over the steps. And now just getting striked over and over again. And then through the other set of stairs. And Ribby just trying to punch his way out of the cell. And Ribby just being striked everywhere. Actually not a care in the world. But Ribby fighting back. And did you see how much strength that strike had in it? And Ribby just giving Ashley a death stare. Looks for a super kick. Ashley doesn't go down. Wait a minute. No, no, no. Oh, into the cell. And a big strike. Ashley walking off. Getting in a fighting position into the cell. Throwing Ribby everywhere. Throwing Ribby just like he's nothing. Like Ashley pretty much said, he's nothing, he's not a god or anything. And Ashley will prove that by beating him here tonight. Into the cell again. And again into the cell. We saw Ribby in a hand in a cell match uh, versus Frank K the Wolf and Knight. The, uh, Ribby just went through the cell wall. Uh, let me just tell you, it wasn't a light-hearted contest. I mean, Frank, he's injured. The Wolf, he's not completely medically fit for being in big matches. He still does it anyway. Knight, well, I mean, he's the one who got pinned. And Ribby, it took a lot of time to win. And I believe Ribby was put through some horrible, horrible spots. Uh, well, everyone was in that match. Ribby climbing, trying to get to the top where Ashley is. Ashley, no! Oh, my God. Did you see how close that was? No, no, Ashley, powerbomb! Throws him off the cell, and he hits the barricade again. Ashley, just taunting, but doing backhands. Ashley saying for Ruby to get up if he is the so so called god and look at Ribby climb Ashley not even noticing Ribby climbing up towards him Ashley only just going down didn't realize that Ribby is actually climbing and Ribby now going down and Ashley going up. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. 
and Ruby jumps down and Ashley is coming down and then Ruby trying to catch him out with strikes look at Ruby he just his back literally just hit a barricade and now he's coming back in with loads of strikes what the f look what he's done look what Ruby did he literally just teleported Ashley like through the cell what the hell if that don't prove he's a god, I don't know what doesn't. Ruby using his godly powers on uh, Ashley, which I think is unfair. But no, chucks Ashley off. Oh my god! What the? F what is going on, Ashley? Ashley, he jumps over the barricade and. Oh, climbs the cell, but what the hell was that? I think he got his arm stuck. He just got thrown straight to the outside. Into the crowd. Oh, uh, no, no. What is Ashley even trying to do? Oh, no, not again. Not into the crowd again, Rippy. No! Oh, and it's happened again. And Ashley got his arm stuck again, and he's in the crowd trying to jump over and he jumps over Ribby has thrown Ashley off the cell at least three times and he's saying that it's over but Ribby's got one more trick up his sleeve Ashley feeling weakened running towards Ribby oh for fuck's sake he teleported again and throws him off and Ribby just laughing at this uh, Ashley being well almost killed multiple times and Ruby just laughing getting the fans to laugh with him laughing at how weak Ashley is I guess and Ashley to the top again running straight at Ribby Ribby finally doesn't teleport in a Samoan drop I don't think it's a good idea running at Ribby! Ribby just put himself through the damn cell. What is going on with Ashley? What the hell? Ashley's stuck. His arms are stuck through the cell. Ashley trying to get up. Uh, what the hell even is this match? This lag fest. Ribby hasn't realised that Ashley has gotten down Ruby climbing up to try and see where he is looking he can't see him anyway and then he is climbing behind him and uh oh setting something up Ashley running at Ribby again gets caught oh just slams straight onto the uh, cell knife edge chops Looks for a backhand reversal. Oh, and puts Ashley through the cell. That was beautiful. And now, Ruby to the top. Ruby to the top. No, 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 no. Wet nap. The godly move of Ruby. And free. Ruby is the first ever EWE Intercontinental Champion. Look at him lift the title in celebration. He's became what he never lost. Look at him lifting the title. That pre that prestigious looking title. What will he do with it? Thank you guys for watching EWE. It's been one hell of a show. Hope you guys enjoyed and peace.